As it stands, the only comprehensive solution I am aware of is the polluter pays amendment already mentioned by the noble Lord Young. And as he has already said, that would require those developers and builders that constructed the blocks of flats that did not comply with the building regulations in force at the time of construction to pay for their remediation. This amendment is supported by a range of UK stakeholders and has also attracted international attention. Ted Bellew, the former Prime, Prime, Primer of Victoria, Australia, and the co-chair of the Victorian Cladding Task Force, sees it as a way of ensuring that those responsible for the crisis pay and as an opportunity to restore trust. An opportunity, an opportunity to serve as a model for other jurisdictions jurisdictions across the world. And I believe that there will be other noble lords who will be better quality, qualified than I to comment on this in the further debate. If the government is not satisfied that the polluter pay bills represents a solution, I know that there are many in my lordship's house that will be eager-eared to hear the government's own solution, which will deliver us from this crisis. I know that the noble Lord, the Minister, is entirely well-intentioned and that he is committed to navigating a way out of this issue. But it is true that the noble members of your Lordship's House are becoming impatient at the lack of action. And I hope the next time that this matter is discussed in this House, the noble Lord, the Minister, will have something new to present. 